Today's video is sponsored by GVG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. Whoa! With a wave of my finger and a flick of my dick, one zap from me will kill you quick, so get on your knees to suck and blow, but not right now, I've got to go! Fuck, I hate when he rhymes. Hello guys, it's your team plays, and today we have a different video from the usual, but a thing but a thing that I actually wanted to speak about, uh, to talk about a bit, and it is a thing that people think, actually think, and, and people say on social media, and it is something like, if you play at 4K, you can get a worse CPU, because there are no CPU bottlenecks at, at 4K, and that is bullshit, complete bullshit. People need to understand that bottlenecks usually CPU, uh, we are talking, we're talking about CPU and RAM bottlenecks, Usually CPU and RAM bottlenecks are not tied to resolution uh, per se, not even close, they are tied to the FPS numbers. And the FPS numbers can be indeed affected by resolution and also settings. So basically that bottleneck, CPU and RAM bottleneck, uh, is something like, imagine your GPU at that resolution and those settings in that same game can push let's say 120 FPS but your CPU can only push 80 FPS. That is a bottleneck. Your CPU and RAM combination are bottlenecking your GPU's capacity in that game at that resolution and that settings and those settings. So that is a bottleneck. It means that one part, in this case the GPU, can push way more FPS than the CPU and RAM combo can provide. That's a bottleneck. Obviously there are other types of bottlenecks uh, for example, the, the software bottleneck, uh, once you pass, for example, from the X11 to Vulkan, you can actually get way better performance in, the, in that same game with that same combo, but that's a different story that you can also watch in this video of, uh, of how to fix low GPU usage. But that's another thing, we're talking about CPU and RAM bottleneck as pure hardware in, that, in the same scenario, okay? So, like I said before, once again, your GPU can push 120 FPS in those settings, in that resolution, while your CPU RAM combo can only push up to 80, so we're running into a bottleneck. Your CPU can't provide, can't provide enough frame rates for the GPU to reach its maximum level, per se. Now imagine that people keep saying that no CPU, there are no CPU bottlenecks at 4K, because our current graphics can't really uh, can't really run 4K uh, at decent settings over 60 FPS. So at 60 FPS, almost any CPU can provide what you need at 60 FPS. But once you get higher FPS numbers, the bottlenecks come appearing. But that doesn't mean that 4K won't bottleneck. Take this in consideration. For example, you are using the RX uh, 5700 XT at 4K high settings. You get 60 frame rates in Battlefield 5 multiplayer. Completely fine, the GPU is at 100%, uh, so it is actually not bottlenecking. And we're playing at 4K, high settings. Now, put a, an RTX 2080 Ti or the upcoming cards, RDNA 2 cards, uh, Navi cards, the new, the new Navi cards, or put a, a RX, once again, RTX 2080 Ti or the RTX 3070, also upcoming and said to be faster or equal to the 2080 Ti, put uh, a G uh, an RTX 2080 Ti level graphics card in the same scenario. It won't push only 60 FPS, it will push maybe 80 or 90. And in the same scenario at 4K, same setting, same scenario, but you have a way more powerful GPU. And then your CPU will bottleneck. Even even at 4K, because the graphics settings and uh, the resolutions alone matter nothing. It matters, what it matters is the FPS and the G that the GPU can push at that resolutions, at that resolution, sorry, with those, with those settings. And if the CPU can actually provide enough FPS or not. 
So if anyone tells you that there are no CPU bottlenecks at 4K, that guy is an idiot and you shouldn't listen to him. That's all. Now, like I said before, there are some scenarios, in fact, where the software is the bottleneck, of course, but we're talking only about hardware specific um, bottleneck per se. So comparing the same, the same uh, or different hardware uh, in the same exact software. But there are also software bottlenecks. If you watch this video, for example, of, of DirectX 12 or 11 and 12 versus Vulkan, you can see that Vulkan uh, actually allows way higher FPS uh, in the same hardware scenario. So imagine you, you have the same CPU, you have the same RAM, the same exactly the same computer, but you pass from the X11, for example, to Vulkan and you have way more FPS because Vulkan uh, can actually use your hardware way better than the older API. But like I said, that's a different thing and you can watch it in this video. And well guys, that's all for today's small video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Uh, and well, see you in the next one.